Hey guys, welcome to the 91st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to access selected items inside of your list view. But in order to do that, we're first going to have to take a look at the context menu strip. So, first off, we're just going to look at the context menu strip. And in order to uh, create one, just drag it onto your form right here. And as you can see, it's one of those uh, controls that you can't see. However, it shows up right here. And in case you don't know, a context menu is basically the menu that comes up when you right click on something. And we're going to be using this context menu in order to access um, uh, selected items inside of your list view. So basically the first um, thing that we're going to have the users be able to do with selected items is just um, get name of item. So now, in order to use this context menu strip on our uh, list view, we're just going to have to have our list view selected and go over to the properties panel, go down to context menu strip, and choose the context menu strip that we just created. So now we debug here and right click on this uh, control, our list view, we should get the context menu that we created. Yep, we have that item, get name of item. We haven't programmed anything to yet, that yet, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to double click on this so whenever someone clicks on this uh, item in the context menu something will happen or whatever code that we put in here will be executed. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that there is an actual item selected in the list view. So we're just going to create an if statement right here saying if listview1.selectedItems.count doesn't equal zero then we're going to do something. And in order to access selected items, you first have to type out the name of the list view that you created. I just called it list view one. And then you're going to want to do, use the selected items property. And this returns a collection. So we're going to treat it like an array. So we just put in here the index of the selected items that we want to access. And it will always be zero unless you're selecting multiple items, which we'll get into in the next tutorial. So we're just going to be accessing a single item and then we're going to do sub items and this also is a collection so we're going to put right in here um, the index of the site of a sub item that we want to access and if we wanted to access the full name that would be zero if we wanted to access the age it would be one if you wanted to access the email address it would be two if we had more it would just continue on like that the first one is just always zero though remember that so we're going to be accessing the name so we're just going to put a zero in there and now we have a, a list view item and we created a list view item up here. So now we can just use um, the properties inside of the list view item uh, class, such as uh, text. And this will basically just return the text of the list view item. So whatever is displayed uh, in this full name uh, cell right here, we should get in a message box. So we're just going to display that in a message box. So now I'm going to debug here. It's going to add a person's name. I'll just do Adam Smith. And the age and stuff doesn't matter right now. So, all right. So now we can add this person. So now I'm going to right click, click get name of item. We get Adam Smith. But if we don't have an item selected and click get name of item, nothing happens. You don't get an error because of this if statement right here. So that's pretty much all we're going to get into for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be doing more things with selected items and things like that. So see you guys.